Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf out here on the driving range today at Les Bolstead, joined by Mr. Jake Montgomery, the master club fitter at the Minneapolis store, Jake. Yeah. And today, a uh, very fun head to head ping driver comparison. Um, wanted to do this one because we've seen some similarities between this kind of older used driver mm -hmm. and then what's new for 2024 with the ping G430 Max 10K. So the one we have is the G400 Max. And yes. so I know you're not alone, but I've heard it from fitters throughout the company that mm -hmm. G400 series as a whole is so good from ping. Yeah. They've really stood the test of time really well. So what specifically about the G400 mm -hmm. Max makes that one so good? Yeah, I mean, these things are rock solid. When this comes in the bay for a used driver fitting or they're looking to get something new, I know it's gonna be kind of tough to beat this one. In terms of ball speed and spin, they are just rock solid. Yeah. They perform pretty well compared to even the latest tech that we're, that's why I'm excited to see this kind of comparison video here today. Uh, they have pretty good feel with that forge face there. This mm -hmm. Max had 9,900 MOI. The new 10K obviously has 10,000 MOI. So I'm excited to kind of see this comparison. I believe this driver is six years old it's now. It's gotta so be, yeah. I believe it was 2017 or 2018. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely it's, older. It's older. But I, if you were to like look in the bags of mm -hmm. Tour Pros, the G400 series went, stayed with Ping Pros for a long time. A long time. A lot of them didn't make the switch to G410 or mm -hmm. even G425, sticking yeah. with G400, whether mm -hmm. it was the standard, the Max, the LST. Yep. So that's why I'm so curious about this mm -hmm. one. And I think there's a lot of similarities in just how they're designed between yes. these two. Mm -hmm. And then what I think Ping's goal was as well for them, which was basically hit the ball straight, but also provide enough ball speed for you. So, 100%. Uh, let's talk about more about this test in the sense that we can't equate the shafts perfectly yes. because the hosels are actually different. Mm -hmm. they, they made that adjustment with G410. So yep. shafts here and loft, all those mm -hmm. things. Let's talk yeah, about I mean, I, I have two 65 gram extra stiffs here. This tour black is going to be a little lower launching, lower spinning shafts. We yep. expect to see that there. These are both 10 and a half degrees that I have cranked down to nine. It's going to set the face a little bit more open. Hopefully we won't hit it quite as high. Um, but I think it should be a pretty fair comparison between the two. We might see a little bit more spin out of the G400 just because of the shaft there, but you don't expect okay. to see maybe 100 RPMs or so. Got yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm ready to see this. This is mm -hmm. going to be exciting. So G400 Max, G430 Max 10K, you ready to go? Absolutely. Mr. Montgomery, G400 mm -hmm. Max. Um, what do you look, I mean, I, I see a little bit more going on with this, yeah, for sure. this head than maybe more current ping drivers. Yeah, so it's got the turbulators here and then some additional lines in the back here. This is all in search of aerodynamics, letting you swing it as fast as you can. Everyone's looking for a little more club head speed. They'll take any edge they can get. Um, definitely not a typical look, I would say, yeah. but I honestly do kind of like it because you can line it up right in the middle of these two turbulators here. It gives you a pretty good reference point yeah. in the middle of the face. I think the turbulators have been kind of a, you know, you're either hot or cold on them, right? Yeah. I think in, in in golf, but I think there's a lot of advantages to them. Not only the aerodynamics, but mm -hmm. as you mentioned, the alignment purposes that, that yeah. it has as well. So um, absolutely, I think there's some good advantages there. But all right, G400 Max. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Got some balls. Just a little push. A little push. Very high. Extremely ball high. Yeah, I mean that's a it's a good ball though. Yeah. Like it's still, I mean, I, I would say if we're on the golf course, it's probably in the fairway, maybe on the right side of the fairway. Yeah. 271 carry on that one. 2173 on the spin. Peak height of 145 feet. <laughs> that's why I lofted this down. Yeah, because this was ten and a half lofted down. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And we knew this was a high launching driver, so For I'm sure. not super surprised by that, I guess. fade there kind of right at the same spot i feel mm -hmm. like pretty close yeah yeah very close yeah just a little more spin just a little bit more spin but kind of with a cut that makes a little bit of sense one or 269 on the carry so 271 on the one before that okay 120 on the peak height there so not quite as high your attack angle was a little, a little more lower, yeah. neutral on that one Ooh, now we're turning There's it over the draw there we go it's drawing back up basically to the center line. You're pretty darn close on that one. It's pretty consistent on the carry. Another 271. Okay, these, this is this is shaping up to be a very, very good carry distance dispersion. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not going to say anything else because obviously there's a couple more shots to go here, mm -hmm. but that's this is starting. This is the bar setting is looking pretty high right yeah. now. I mean, that looks like it's 270 again. I don't know. Yeah. It's feeling pretty consistent so far. 
Ooh, that one even went a little further. 278. All right. Swung a little harder than that one. What uh, What do you think about the, the sound and feel of this one? Because I think there is a little bit of that kind of distinct ping yes. sound to it. Just a little bit. It is definitely a little more audible of a driver. You can hear that kind of tinginess yeah, to yeah. it. And that's something that they changed a lot in the G430. They did. And a lot of people have liked is it sounds and feels a little bit more muted. Now, the actual feel off the face, I don't mind. It's very responsive, which I've said yeah. in the past. I do enjoy. I like to really feel where I'm hitting it there. Okay. All these last few ones have felt pretty centered there. Yeah. So I know I'm catching them pretty well. Yeah. I mean, you have clearly just by looking at the performance of them, they're really good, mm -hmm. really good tee shots. All right. Let's hit one more here. Oh, yeah. That, that's going to be right on top of that line. Look at that. Yeah, that's a pretty swooping draw there. Wow. There we go. Some really good numbers here. And after that last one, over 110 on the club mm -hmm. speed on that one. So, all right, we've got some averages to go over here with the G400 Max. I'll show you the dispersion here, too. This is, it's pretty good. I know I'm trying to kind of zoom in as far as I can, but I mean, those yeah. are, that's probably five fairways right there yeah. that you just hit. So, and seeing a slight right miss for me as a drawer, I'll yeah. take all day long. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, especially, yeah, because you're trying to still start the ball on the same line. Mm -hmm. If it draws back some, great. Mm -hmm. If not, it's probably still yeah, totally, totally in play. So, Average carry 273, okay. average total is going to be 288. We're going to go to the spin rate here too, which is a big one, 2582. We mm -hmm. had that last couple went a little bit higher. Yeah. I think you had the one that cleared 3000, but mm -hmm. you're still in a very, very good range there. Yeah. Um, ball speed, 161.8. Your club speed average just under 110 at 109. Mm -hmm. And then the apex height was an interesting one, 127. Yeah. So I know you've typically said 100, maybe a little over 100 mm -hmm. is kind of where you want to be is yeah. this i don't want to say too high but is this if you were in a fitting let's say for someone with these numbers would you try to lower that even more i would say ideally i try and lower it maybe put someone in a nine degree head drop down okay. to eight just to flight that a little bit more take some spin off i mean 130 is not like alarms going off i'm not yeah. super worried about that i'd just say ideally on a windier day you might want yeah. something that flies a little lower i mean you watch pj tour golf or you know you, you see guys oh yeah you know, 130 up 140 all the time anyway mm -hmm. so um, it's not like, yeah, I, I see what you're saying there, but all right. So now what do you think we're going to see from G430 Max 10K based on what we've seen so far? I would say I'd expect to see a little lower spin rate. Um, okay. ball speeds on it have been very solid. What was the smash factor on that one again? Smash factor on average yeah. was one, four, eight. And okay. of those you had one, one of them was 1.5, yeah. two, one, four, sevens, and then mm -hmm. a one, four, eight, one, four, nine. So yeah, I mean, I'd say really good. A little lower spin, a little higher smash factor. And then. I'm really curious to see what happens with dispersion. Okay, all right, let's, let's check it out. Ooh. All right, so the first couple swings we've got, again, kind uh -huh. of the, the best of both of those worlds there. We've yeah. got the, the, the kind of the, the hook that sort of turns over. There we go. And then we've got the one that you starts out right, and doesn't yeah. really come all the way back, but draws a little bit. No. And both balls turned out pretty solid, honestly. Yeah. Carry of 269 on that uh -huh. last one, 2030 on the spin. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, again, this is only a couple shots in, but I'm uh -huh. gonna be curious to see what the difference in height is as we yeah, go forward here. The average so far is 95 feet, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like that one. Jake, you're striping the driver. Striping the driver. 270 okay. on that carry. 2312 on the spin, so the average is at 2074 yeah. so far. Another 150 on the smash there, too. Yeah. I love that spin rate. Like, yeah. low 2000s is perfect. Oh, yeah. And that, that peak height there was 99 feet. So okay. You might be. This is flying might a little be, more Yeah, you might be finding to. something here. Ooh. Is that low face or no? A little bit on the low in the face. Okay. Let's see what the spin rate Let's does. Let's see what happens here with this one. No. That's the spin consistency for you. So that's okay. Interesting. Cause you I noticed it took off pretty low. Yeah. And it started to kind of have, you know, where that those low face shots kind of mm -hmm. float in the air a little Balloon. bit. But that one, it started to do that and it just kind of kept, I don't know, just kind of kept going. That's yeah. kind of a weird description of what happened. Mm -hmm. But 2580 on that spin rate. Um 263 carry. So you lost a little bit of carry, yeah. but you know, just it's still angle. out there quite a bit, quite a ways. So really good, I think, there. All right, let me tag one more good one here. Ooh. All right, that's turning over a little bit there. Let's yeah. see what happens. 
you know, probably lose a little bit of carry on that one versus yeah. some other ones. Okay. Pretty good ball speed. Yeah. Some good ball speed there. All right. So we got some numbers to look at. Another mm -hmm. 150 smash, by the way. Okay. So um, interesting, just by looking at the dispersion, uh -huh. clearly you're turning, your draw showed up a little bit more with yes. the G430 Max 10K. Uh, so something to note there is you can see that uh, the, the trend with the Max, the G400 Max, is just that it kind of hung a little bit right and mm -hmm. didn't turn over as much. Um, so look at the numbers here. Let's start with our carry. A little bit more carry with the Max, actually. Mm -hmm. I think that's partially because it was just launched a little bit higher. Yes, a little had bit more spin, spin on as it well. Too. Yep. So 273 to 267. The total, I think, is where we see a little bit more of a, yeah. of a difference there, right? So the G430 Max 10K, 298 to 288. Mm -hmm. I think that also shows a little bit that the, the window, so to speak, was a little bit more appropriate for you. Yes. Just a little bit lower launching of something you were looking for, sure. for and you did theorize that that would take place. We'll mm -hmm. talk about spin here. Again, lower with G430 Max 10K, yep. 2141 to 2582. And then we'll go also to, I guess, ball speed here, a little bit faster with the G430 Max 10K, um, even though you're actually swinging the G430 Max 10K a little bit slow. Oh, yeah. So, so more efficient mm -hmm. for sure, right? 1.5 to 1.48. And then yep. lastly, I wanted to mention on the peak height. See, there's the big difference. Big difference. 127 average to 91. Mm -hmm. And then just for fun launch angle to 14.2 to 11.6. So, yeah. you know, maybe partially due to a couple of the strikes. You know, you mentioned the low face one yep. on, on the G430 Max 10K. But um, what do you think of these numbers here? What are, what, do you, what are your kind of takeaways from this? This was honestly more impressive even than I thought. Um, spin rate on it was fantastic. It's 150 smash factor. Generally on these more forgiving drivers, you tend to sacrifice a little bit of ball speed for yeah. forgiveness. With this, didn't have that issue at all. And yeah. all the ball speed we needed, really low launch and spin, um, but dispersion stayed pretty solid as well. I mean, yeah. this really is the best of both worlds in this driver. Yeah, here. it was. It was. I was surprised at how much different it was. Mm -hmm. that you, you get, you hear just how similar they're built and what yeah. the performance is like. But I think it speaks to really how high launching and forgiving the G400 Max is. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're someone that you're, you're looking for maybe an older driver, something that's a little bit affordable but you're just struggling getting the ball into the air yeah. off the tee. That G400 Max is a really good option to start with. Um, and then obviously, too, if you're looking for something new, hits the ball far, keeps the spin in a manageable spot. Um, G400 or G430 Max 10K, as someone who plays it, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to endorse it. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really good driver. And I mean, as far as ping drivers go, this has been my number one sold driver since it came out. It doesn't matter if you're someone that swings slower and across the ball or if you swing super fast and hit a draw. Yeah. With the hosel settings on here and the different shafts we can use, I can pretty much set this up for any type of player and downrange dispersion, ball speed spin has been really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really happy with how this test turned out because we got some pretty good conclusions we can draw mm -hmm. from this one. And so G four hundred max, G four thirty max ten K, both great options, different price points, different uh, I guess eras if you want to call yep. it that. But, uh, but again, both awesome drivers that you can put in the bag. So golfers, go get a fitting for a ping G400 Max or G430 Max 10K, depending on where you're at with your game. Someone like Jake will take care of you in the fitting bay and get you dialed in for better tee shots. So Jake, thanks for hitting the shots in this one. This was, this was great. Yeah, absolutely.